What's going on guys and welcome back. Today we have an absolutely banger news that just dropped. My most favorite Assassin's Creed of all time, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, is finally getting an official remake and it's launching on November of 2025. And guess what? Insider Gaming have now officially received the gameplay of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. They officially got to take a look at the gameplay and as far as what they've described about this remake, it seems like it is going to be a banger. And like we already know, we've been speaking about this whole leaks and stuff that has been going on related to old school Assassin's Creed basically getting a remake. And we already knew that Black Flag was on the list. Now, another very good surprise is that we're also going to be seeing a remake for Ezio Trilogy. Now, of course, we'll get into all the details about the Ezio Trilogy being remade. But before that, let's take a look at everything that we know from the gameplay that Ubisoft has shared for Assassin's Creed Black Flag's brand new remake. Now, this report comes from my good friend, Ryan. I know he has now given us all the information that we need about the new Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Now Rhino says that Black Flag's remake is now codenamed as Obsidian and it's closer than you think. And Insider Gaming have now officially stated that the game is going to be launching on November of 2025. We're way closer than what we have been expecting. Now initially it was supposed to be released much more sooner. Now initially the game was supposed to be releasing probably around the time of February when Assassin's Creed Shadow Shadows is now delayed to. Now initially Ubisoft had plans to release Assassin's Creed Shadows in the month of November and later on in 2025 their big budget plan was to release Assassin's Creed Black Flag's full-on remake and later on they're also going to be following up the pipeline and launch multiple remakes of their games. Now we also have some information on what other games are getting remade which we'll of course discuss in further details in just a minute but before that it seems like around the same time Codename Invictus which is the multi player game is also going to be launching during November of 2025 alongside Assassin's Creed Black Flag's remake. Now what is Invictus? What is this whole multiplayer game mode? Now basically what we know so far is that Ubisoft is launching a multiplayer online game mode where the game is kind of inspired from games like Fall Guys where you're supposed to parkour your ways through some really puzzle filled areas and you need to compete against other online players. So the game is basically going to be like an extra traction shooter game like Escape from Tarkov but then it's kind of different it's set in the Assassin's Creed universe which means that you're going to be solving a couple of puzzles and you'll also go through some very challenging parkouring around the world and you need to get to the finish line while you're also going to be fighting against other online players who are also going to be trying to extract to the same finish line at the same time so whoever gets left behind and the time runs out you're going to be disqualified from the game and then the selected players are going to be moving on to round two and round three and so on until there is only one player left. So this is basically what Ubisoft has planned in terms of what Assassin's Creed multiplayer is going to look like and this project is now currently named as Project Invictus. Now Insider Gaming has also said that they have received early gameplay of Assassin's Creed Black Flag's remake and that the gameplay included Edward Kenway who is now sailing a ship on an upgraded Anvil engine. Now as we know the upgraded Anvil engine is basically nothing but the same engine which was used in Skull and Bones. So whatever graphics that we got to see in Skull and Bones is basically what we're going to be getting with Assassin's Creed Black Flag's remake as well. And I've got to be honest, Skull and Bones graphics and the way the water looks is by far one of the best looking waters in all of the gamings that I've seen so far because I've played so many games like many Assassin's Creed games included. Even Assassin's Creed Odyssey had like really good water physics. And when you compare Assassin's Creed Black Flag with Skull and Bones and if you compare the water quality of both of these games we already know that black flag till this day does look incredible when it comes to how amazing the water looks in this game and with the new upgraded latest anvil engine with skull and bones it looks so freaking realistic man the one thing i absolutely loved in terms of how the waves work and how every time you sail into this huge stormy weather you actually have all of these water entering inside your ship and you need to like remove the water out of your ship all of these really next gen features which is kind of inspired from the Xbox game Sea of Thieves where you manually have to go down into the ship and remove all the water and stuff once you hit the storm and all the water is going to be entering so if you don't do that your ship is going to be sinking. But however I don't think you know Ubisoft is going to implement something like that into Assassin's Creed Black Flag because it's going to be very hectic due to the reason that this is first of all an Assassin's Creed game more than just being a pirate game and of course we know that it was one of the huge one of the most loved Assassin's Creed games of all time and with remake 
week. I really want to see some sort of a difference in terms of storyline because obviously we're going to be replaying the whole entire game. So I don't want to be, you know, replaying the same thing again all over. I want to see some kind of variations. And of course, I know the graphics is going to look incredible, amazing. Hopefully it looks as good as what we are seeing currently with Assassin's Creed Shadows. Now, as far as what I know, it seems like since Ubisoft has gone completely downhill and their stocks have hit rock bottom, this is going to be their one big major project that is going to be getting Ubisoft all the way up on the line in terms of making the company successful once again because they know that whatever they're trying right now is absolutely failing all over. Even if they did end up making Japan, which is one of the most asked and requested setting for an Assassin's Creed game, it still did not work out. So they have finally decided that, you know, the best thing that we can do as of now, we can take some time off away from all the new games and innovations and all that stuff. We can simply just remake games that already worked out for us so that we can make this company greater again. But I really hope, man, they don't add in any of those Vogue agendas into Assassin's Creed Black Flag's remake because whatever was in the original, I really loved it. And some parts of the rumors that I've heard so far about this game is that they're kind of, you know, leaning into a bit of an RPG mechanism in this game, whereas you're going to be having more content, different outfits, and also all of these different outfits are going to be having most likely different stats and all that stuff. We already had stats in terms of Assassin's Creed Black Flag, where certain outfits kind of allowed you to, you know, go underwater and breathe for a longer amount of time and all that, you know, minor stuff it was not very major in terms of stats but still it was something kind of like an rpg rather than not having nothing at all like previous assassin's creed games so i think they're going to be advancing that a little bit more in terms of them giving us much more content with this game now insider gaming has said that part of ubisoft's ramp up strategy for assassin's creed series which will see around 10 assassin's creed titles of various length and experiences released in the next five years and all of these 10 assassin's creed games that they're currently planning includes so many remakes that's actually coming up and one of those entire set of remake is going to be Ezio Trilogy and this info was actually received from one of the insiders who apparently informed this YouTuber named Endemius and this guy Source actually informed that they're going to be making like a trilogy remake for Ezio and that's one of the best news that I've heard and I think that one is going to be saved for like the final blow because anytime Ubisoft thinks that they're coming company is falling apart this is going to be like the one final trump card that they can use in order to get back up because Ezio trilogy is what assassin's creed is all about everyone out there who has played assassin's creed games knows that Ezio is by far the best character and the best assassin's creeds of all time and then comes assassin's creed black flag i don't know about assassin's creed one altair was eventually cool but still even though i believe that altair requires like a full-on remake i think ubisoft is pretty much just going to you know reuse all of the assets that they've already used with Assassin's Creed Mirage and that's probably how they're going to be making Assassin's Creed 1 Altair's Legacy into a complete remake and then with Ezio is what is going to be completely different because it seems like they need to use some most advanced technology of Anvil Engine right now in order to fully recreate the game rather than using what they already have in the previous games that they worked in because in Black Flag they're going to be using Skull and Bones assets and in Assassin's Creed 1's remake they're going to be using Assassin's Creed Mirage asset but for the entire trilogy of Ezio they have literally no asset so they need to create the whole game from ground up so that's going to be very interesting to see how Ubisoft is going to handle that one that just makes me so excited for the whole you know Assassin's Creed series at this point now Mark Alexis Cotis from Ubisoft has actually informed the staffs in an internal email where he said that this remake and all the future Assassin's Creed games are going to be affecting it's going to affect the entire Assassin's Creed roadmap after the delay of Assassin's Creed Shadows now Scythe Potato on Twitter, Amir, has also reported on this whole situation about the insider gaming gameplay consisting of Edward Kenway on Jackdaw. For those of you guys who haven't played Black Flag, Jackdaw is the name of the ship that Edward Kenway owns. So man, I'm kind of curious at this point to see what Ubisoft has in store for us. And as far as what I've heard from all the rumors and stuff, uh, Ezio Trilogy is something that I'm very excited for after Black Flag. I'm not even so excited for Assassin's Creed Shadows at this point. Because 
because after hearing Black Flag getting a remake, that is exactly what I want to get my hands on to. Because I don't know, man, I'm not really very satisfied with Assassin's Creed Shadows, but still, I would love to go ahead and try that game and play and see what that game has to offer. Hopefully, it's good. Hopefully, all the stuff that Ubisoft has eventually worked on that game. They say that it's one of their most ambitious Assassin's Creed games of all time, so I definitely want to see what Ubisoft is up to with that game. I'm not someone that really hates the fact that, you know, we have Yasuke or whatever. I'm good with anything, man. I don't really care if it's Yasuke or whatever historical stuff, but whatever stuff is going on in the community that's damaging Ubisoft at this point, we definitely cannot ignore all of that. So that's probably why I eventually had to cover all the stuff, but still, I hope that, you know, Ubisoft respects some of the cultures of Japanese people and not really defame all the stuff that they're just doing in current games. And that's one of the reasons as to why all of their stock markets have fallen all time low at this point. Let me know in the comments down below which game are you guys excited for? Are you guys excited to go ahead and replay all of the best Assassin's Creed games that is coming once again in the form of remakes? Let me know which remake would you guys like to see from Ubisoft and if you have any suggestions or any requests for which Assassin's Creed games would you guys want to see remade as soon as possible? Leave your thoughts, leave your feedbacks down below in the comments. I would love to read your comments, reply to as many of you guys as I possibly can. And with that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, please just take a few seconds of your valuable time, drop a like on this video. It really goes a long way to me as a creator, helps me create better content for you guys every single day because your likes and support, it really kind of just motivates me. Now, if you guys want to stay updated with all the latest and the greatest news updates, gameplays, information, leaks, everything that you guys need about upcoming open world games first, then this channel is going to be your number one stop. So make sure to go ahead and subscribe. It's absolutely free of cost on YouTube. YouTube. You don't have to pay a dime and at the same time, it's a win-win for both of us. You guys get to get all the information and stay updated about all the gaming stuff every single day and at the same time, I get to grow this gaming community with some wonderful people like yourself. With that being said, I would love to see all of you guys joining the squad and growing this community together. Now, until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day and I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Until then, take it easy fams and goodbye.